Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You guys are watching me on YouTube now. And in this session, I'm going to take you through how to create a push notifications for the browsers. And uh, we are going to use a Node.js and React to create the simplest uh, possible project to demonstrate how to create the push notifications using Socket.io. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive. So the easiest way to create the full stack project is to create a new directory. First one is of course for the API where you are gonna hit the API to send the message and that message will be transferred to the React. So MKDIR API, this is the backend API where you need uh, maybe Express, npm install Express. The second one is socket io course maybe nothing much and inside that you can create a server dot js or index dot js maybe const express equal to require express so i'll go with the const http equals to require HTTP, this is built in module, then const socket IO equals to require socket IO. Then you will need a course, course equals to require course. The last one is app, the express app. This is it. Uh, then you can have a server. And that server will be running on HTTP. Create server, which will take app as attribute. And later you can have a const io, which will create a new socket connection. So socket io. And here inside that you can pass your server and that server will take course an object where you can pass the origin which will be a star can be anything and methods of course and that methods would be you can define it's an array actually so this array contains get post or put you can pass according to your choice so you got your io ready now that io uh, will use that io later but we need to use course before course and that course will take star so later you can use express dot json this is it and now app dot post that post will get send with request and response and with that you can have your message request dot body dot message this is the one and the next thing is you can console log if you want message okay so this is the one thing now you need to emit uh, the message so io dot emit and that you can name according to your choice so this is my push notification so this push push notification contains a message so that you can pass as message okay this is it and later if you want you can like uh, provide a response according to 200 maybe with send proper message along with it saying either message or message colon sent okay or sent successfully 
successfully you can say io dot on connection comma socket and that socket you can pass a console dot log connected you can say this is connected and socket dot on disconnected or disconnect sorry will have a console dot log and that console log will say client disconnected okay so this is uh, the easiest way to create the simplest api and later you can say your server dot listen to particular port if you want like 3000 and this is it and you can have your callback saying that uh, maybe having a, another console log saying server is running on 3000 so this is my server.js code i'll try to run this using node mod and i'll see the 3000 is there the api is there and i'll just check that if i first i'll create the front end now because i have almost everything that i want in here i haven't got the uh what package.json in here yet so that i try to get using npm init hyphen y and that hyphen y now should contain all the things so now it's perfect you can install dave dependency if you want hyphen d so that's how you can directly write start node one in here and say npm start instead so this is the right way now open another tab say npx create react app client okay, cd to client okay i'm into the client itself now i'll say npm install uh socket io client this is it and now we are ready to go so i'll go to the client i'll go to the src app.js here i'll i'll rename this i'll i don't need this at all i don't need this css so i'll start with importing normal react with along with use effect i'll need maybe use effect or we'll import this data as we required okay so for now i need to import io from socket io socket io client so this is required then i'll say const socket which will have io and that io will connect to my http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 okay to my backend and then i have a function and that function will take const notification comma set notification so it's good i'll say use state okay so we are good here the next thing that we have to do is to add use effect so use effect that use effect will have a callback that will say i can close this actually so now i need to use a socket inside here so socket dot on if you remember we have push notification push notification in there comma which will have a data and that data 
I need to print in here. So console log, I'll say received. Okay, and you can have the data if you wanted to pass in here, you can pass. So this is the first thing. Then you can say set notification to you can have your previ previous value in here. You can go and you can set according to your choice. You can either preserve the previous value if you want and you can simply add the new one if required. So this is the way I don't need this. Okay, so I got the data in here. Now you can simply return. I'll come back. Let's return that. Socket dot off. I'll say I don't need this push notification anymore. I'll put it in here so it will disconnect. I'll need one extra closing. So I'm done here. Now let's return write normal div and that div let's see what what it is where it is coming from i don't need this actually why i'm writing in here okay this is correct so div then h1 inside h1 i'll write a uh, push notifications that push notifications okay and that ul will contain normal notifications notifications dot there are a list actually i use i have to use notifications not notification so i can map it because i'm storing the previous notifications just in case so notification notify i'll say notification comma index and that that will come along with each ally and that ally can have a key to have an index and here I'll use that message like notify dot message okay because we are getting message in there and we, we are just remove returning that so I'll try to start this now So let's cross check this. So we have use effect. We have this socket as required. And uh, here we are getting this map reading in map. So notification is something we are getting error at. So this is the empty array maybe. Okay now it is good so now we all we need is that url and that url i'll show you uh api which is a post api with the body uh, saying just message hello just hello okay and just send this so this is my api running which says hello now so that's the thing because even though it's connected I need to go and check by adding up. I need to check first this push notification is correct. The name that we are using in here and here, which is not correct. So I'll update this in the app same way. N is capital. If not, we'll continue to send the message. We got the message. So message is there. Uh, if I go back in here and if i see this is sending the message but this is not sending the push notifications now we want to add the push notifications in here now inside this use effect i need to add this section in order to provide to get the permission from user to send the notifications so this is what we use i need to update this with this 
so if you seen here uh, what I'm using in using is is not set notification what I'm using in here is this section this is where if the permission is provided from user what I'll say is I'll send the new notification with the icon and the message so let's save this add app let me check once again everything is correct okay now i have to rename this notification function plus f2 with notifications okay and this as well function plus f2 with notifications so that's how we don't repeat this notification word so if i try to change this to something else else i'll send it again and i'll check this in here so i got this hello mahesh as a i'm getting this messages in here now so this is this is i guess this is it for this today's tutorial and uh, thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you till then tada bye bye